this evening news with Scott Pelley. The White House said today it does not believe that the president is under investigation by the FBI. The question came up because of President Trump's insistence that his phones were tapped during the campaign on orders from President Obama. Contacts between the Trump campaign and Russian operatives, U.S. intelligence has concluded that Russia did meddle in the presidential election. But one top U.S. official told us so far there is no evidence of collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign. FBI Director James Comey repudiated Mr. Trump's wiretapping charge. And Mr. Trump's staff has been struggling to fill his silence. Margaret Rickin, uh, with respect to the Department of Justice. The White House says that Mr. Trump may have been swept up in surveillance that was not directly targeted at him, though the president has claimed it was his phones that were tapped, an allegation denied by former director of national intelligence, James Clapper. There was no such wiretap activity mounted against uh, the president, uh, the president elect at the time or as a candidate or against his campaign. In the last few weeks, the president has told his military that there are terrorist attacks no one knows about because the press covers them up. He's described the news media as the enemy of the American people. He has likened his own intelligence agencies to Nazis. And now we have the wiretapping charge against President Obama. Is it appropriate to ask whether the president is having difficulty with rationality? <laughs> Really objective reporting. <laughs>